So in this demo, we are going to show the uh, scalability options in OpenShift. So the first option is to scale uh, the bots manually, right? By scaling uh, the bots uh, in and out, adding more bots. So by adding the bot, we can see that we have two uh, bots running right now. And if you look at the uh, surface object and look at the surface to bot mapping, you can see that two bots are running behind this uh, surface and the bot selector definitely uh, are used to uh, map the bot to uh, surface. So uh, this is the first and easy uh, option is to go for uh, manual uh, scalability. So the second option is to go for the uh, auto scaling. And this is where you rely on OpenShift to scale your bots in and out based on the resource consumption. So the first thing is we need to allocate uh, resources for uh, the running bot to be able to uh, configure the horizontal bot auto scaler object. So let's search for the resources. Right now we don't have any resources allocated for this bot. So let's limit the uh, resources by adding uh, limits for the CPU and memory. Good, so we have the limits now, 100 millicore and uh, 256 uh, megabytes, right? And we also have the uh, request. So let's save the uh, deployment object. Accordingly, uh, the bot deployment will be triggered, right? To reflect the changes in the deployment object wait for the uh, bot to start good so we have the bot now started so we can add the uh, hpa object now so for each horizontal bot or scalar we have the minimum bots maximum bots and we have the cpu and memory uh, utilization or threshold once we uh, exceed this uh, threshold the 10 percent means the hpa will be triggering uh, a new uh, bot or adding a new uh, bot so you can see now that the uh, auto scaling is, is uh, running, right? And we cannot scale the bots manual anymore. At any point of time, you can watch the CPU utilization uh, to be able to, uh, again, uh, watch the HPA in action. So let's start our J meter to uh, generate some traffic and to reach the uh, CPU 10% consumption and watch the uh, auto scaler in action. We have a very uh, simple test plan. So nothing but again number of uh, threads concurrent, uh, I mean simulating concurrent users and then the uh, loop to repeat it. We'll change it later. So and we have also the HTTP request. This is the route URL. Let's copy this URL, go back to our browser and hit the URL we're hitting our pod and this is the uh, response so let's change the number of threads to 100 and the number of loops to uh, 20 so total will have 2000 requests and then let's uh, let's start the uh, test and we'll just have different uh, uh, results uh, whatever views we will stick to the uh, summary just to watch the number of uh, requests so let's watch it for a while until we uh, reach the CPU utilization and hence the HPA will be triggering a new deployment. Yeah, so this is the CPU uh, usage consumption. So let's go back to uh, our result summary. Right now we have around 1300 and it is increasing. We can see now the uh, auto scaler uh, is working and a new bot uh, has been added. So, looking at the request, two server requests are done, and uh, we have two uh, bots are running now. Look at the resources, the two bots are running, and also if you go back to our surface, yes, surface to bot mapping, you can see that the uh, two bots right, uh, are running behind the uh, surface, right? We go back to our deployment object right we can see that even the third bot being triggered right now so we have three bots uh, are running right so uh, let's have one more test uh, to see the impact of of having the three bots running on the overall uh, performance uh, so i think this time will be much faster to serve the 2000 requests because we already have three bots are running and i think we can see that the uh, 
test is running and it is a uh, bit faster than the uh, previous one okay perfect so uh, if for any reason we need to remove the uh, auto scaling and go back to the uh, manual scalability we can go back to the uh, deployment uh, object and remove the uh, horizontal bot auto scaler and then uh, we will be able to uh, scale uh, the bots uh, manually right in and uh, out 